Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Gran Canaria vlog. Welcome to the beautiful island of Gran Canaria. We are here, we have arrived and I could not be happier for a little bit of an early spring sunshine break with the weather we've had in the UK recently and how cold it has been my goodness me am i welcoming in the sunshine so we arrived today we arrived at about midday today i've only just properly picked up the vlogging camera because after a 3 a.m start i was not feeling ready to do a bit of a face to camera action but i've just had a shower done my hair done my makeup and i feel like i'm ready for the evening we are going out for dinner tonight i think we're just going to have a bit of a chilled one at dinner here at the hotel because we don't want to go too ham considering how tired we are i guarantee we're not going to make it past nine o'clock we will be in bed by nine ready to snuggle down but we are here at the beautiful Rui oasis which is such a gorgeous five-star hotel here in Gran Canaria it's in oh, I can't remember the name of this kind of area but it's in a really really gorgeous area we've already had a little bit of a wander down like the promenade seen some of the shops we had some lunch it was really really gorgeous and actually when we first arrived before we did properly unpacking and before we kind of exploded over the hotel room I did film a quick room tour so I will insert that now for you guys to see where we are staying okay so as you come in we've got this little corridor area here the bathrooms in here which I'll show you in in a second but look how gorgeous this is it's such a big open space room and it's always my favorite thing when a room offers like a little section that you can unwind in that's kind of separate from the rest of it this is actually kind of giving me Teuton Glen vibes with like the big bed and then the little kind of like sofa area with the balcony is it just me is this like the Grand Canaria version of Teuton Glen um but we've got this cute little like coffee table sofa set up which is really really lovely um a big chest of drawers over here which I believe we've got a mini bar in here let's see what we've got how do I open this? Oh, there. Ooh, lovely. We've got some drinks in there, some Cokes and things like that. So we'll have to raid that later. And of course, a coffee station. We always need a coffee station. We grab some waters on the way in. Um, ooh, mini bar menu. Do we have anything in here? No, that's for ice. <laughs> I thought there was going to be some like sweets in there or something. Um, so yes, I'm loving the decor as well. Very, um, very cute. So yes, the view outside is just lovely. Like look at the palm trees. It's just so, so pretty. It's very green, very like, very Grand Canaria vibes, very Canary Islands. So yeah, and then obviously the bed is just absolutely huge. I mean, look at that. I feel like you can just never gauge the size of it. Um, but a lovely, big, comfy bed, um, a big mirror. So I'll be able to do outfit of the days currently looking like an absolute hot mess after getting off the plane but i'll be able to do my outfit of the days for you and then we've got a huge wardrobe which i'm not gonna lie i've already unpacked my stuff into it because i literally cannot not unpack and we have such a color scheme can you tell my evening outfits versus my day outfits if you watch my pack with me video you'll know what i've got here and ready um and then last we've just got this little like peg over here which i think is absolutely adorable i've just hung up our coats um and hats and things like that as you head out the door and then the bathroom is just an absolute world of its own i mean look at this look at this we've got the his and her sinks which i feel like everyone knows the secret to a happy relationship is having his and her sinks it would be the dream to one day have his and hers sinks in my own home i feel like that's when you know you've made it in life and they've obviously got some um lovely little goodies that they've given us it always makes me so happy when um hotels give you little bits and like flannels and things like that i feel like it makes such a difference um and then the shower Look at the size of this shower. You can't even see it properly because of the reflection, but it is a gorgeous big waterfall shower. It's absolutely massive. And this is actually opaque as well, which I do like. So I really hate it when they have a window going into the shower in a bathroom that it's almost like you're on display. Not a vibe, but I'm in love with the marble. It's giving me so much inspiration. The bathroom, honestly, is just absolutely gorgeous. Lots of like storage space to put my toiletries, which always makes me really, really happy. And then we've also got robes and towels down there. So the most gorgeous room for a few days here in Grand Canary. Could not be more grateful. Honestly, room of dreams. Room of dreams. And that shower, I can confirm, is insane. It's one of the strongest waterfall showers i think i've ever ever used it was just heaven i actually think i want to wash my hair every day that we are here 
really sweaty. Can you use that shower? Honestly, I'm not going to want to go home after that, but absolutely magical room. We've got a lovely view as I'm just stood out here on the balcony. I can hear the birds chirping around me. We've got a little bit of traffic, but it's not too noisy at all. And if you just look just over here, we've got the beach just down there which is so lovely but it's just like the most gorgeous little tranquil looking over a few pools there's about three different pools here at the Rui Oasis I'll give you like a proper tour of the hotel as well when we do a bit more of an explore as I said I think we're just gonna have dinner at the hotel here tonight because we don't want to do we don't want to go too ham on our first night we just want to have a nice chill one but we've got a really really lovely a few days planned it's just gonna be a really nice relaxing holiday like this really is just a lovely early spring winter break for Alex and I and I'm so so happy to be here in the sunshine so let me show you what I'm wearing for tonight tonight's outfit of the night as I said I've gone super simple and super minimal my outfits are really really like paired back and basic for this holiday if you watched my last vlog you would have seen my pack with me I really stripped it back to basics and I've got such a color palette like all white for during the day all black for during the night except I do only actually have two handbags with me so I've got my little Chloe basket bag here which I really love it's such a perfect everyday evening bag like it holds everything that I need I'm so so glad that I bought this if you are on the edge about it like if you're unsure take this as your sign and actually i think you can use my farfetch discount code i think this is available on farfetch so i will link it down below for you guys but outfit wise i've just gone for like a little black maxi skirt this is a gorgeous one i picked up from new look and um, that you would have seen in my recent video my uh getting ready for spring video it's such a gorgeous one like really super simple and easy to wear and then this is one of the basic h and tees that i've paired with and i feel like it works really really well kind of looks like a dress which i really like and then i've got my june slides on underneath so yeah the most simple basic evening outfit but as i said we're just going super simple for tonight's meal you may have been able to see alex is having a quick power nap beside me i managed to nap on the plane um so i'm not feeling too bad but alex hasn't slept yet so he's having a quick half an hour power nap whilst i am vlogging he can sleep through anything um but one of the ways i'm really trying to like elevate the outfits whilst i'm here is through my jewelry i know i've spoken about this a lot but i've brought some of my favorite pandora pieces which as you guys know i am a pandora ambassador so i always love showing you how i'm styling up the bits um so i've got some gorgeous old bangles here these are like silver i've kind of gone silver on this hand and then a bit of a mixture on this hand this is one of my favorite things to do the two brilliant rings i've got a gold and a silver stack them together and it just looks so elegant and then i've stacked together a gold um chain bracelet and a silver and gold bracelet what i really love is that this is part of pandora's most expensive collection these are part of pandora's most inexpensive collections and pairing them together it's just such a great way of like mixing price points and showing how you can wear the pieces then i've got these gorgeous little sparkly huggies on and in terms of perfume oh my goodness i feel like i'm genius for this i have brought the lancome idol perfume now i got this in my sorry my phone keeps going off at the moment um but i got this in at Christmas time in that really really gorgeous Lancome set and I've not actually used it yet I thought this was the perfect opportunity because it's literally just a little that you just kind of dab it on your neck like this and I love to have a holiday scent I am someone that associates scent with so so much and this Idol perfume I don't actually have any associations with it so I feel like it's going to be really nice to wear this throughout the whole holiday evenings during the day throughout the entire trip and then whenever I come to smell this again it's going to remind me of this trip and I feel like this is just the perfect little size bottle i'm not entirely sure if you can buy this travel size but that is my perfume of the evening so i'm ready to go ready for dinner i am absolutely starving so let's go and get some food one thing that i am so glad that i packed and that is my toe tem scarf if you want a hack when it comes to going away traveling staying comfy and cozy always bring a scarf with you i use this as a blanket on the plane and i'm currently using it as a cape so we're sitting outside having some drinks and it is actually a little bit chilly i wasn't expecting it to be this cold in the evenings um so yeah i've just wrapped this around me i've got alex here beside me looking gorgeous i'm in love with your linen trousers oh yeah because they're right place to keep like i know spring. i know you get alex gets so upset because he literally wants his linen to be like crisp and i have so to keep I reminding know. him i know but i have to keep reminding you that that is like the point of linen that's part of the um, yeah, we're just currently sitting out, enjoying the live music, having a drink before we head to dinner. But yeah, just a little hack for you. Always bring a gorgeous scarf. You can double up as a blanket, as a cape. So it can be a pillow if you need to on the plane. It is such a life-changing hack.
we are back from dinner now and my goodness me that was such a delicious dinner it is currently 9 21 there is proof there 9 21 we've made it past nine o'clock i'm so proud of us i'm literally so proud of us i think it's because i ended up getting mojitos and alex got espresso martini so he had the caffeine to keep him going i had the sugar but we have officially crashed and burnt and i'm so ready for bed like honestly i'm just absolutely shattered it feels like it's about three in the morning right now it's literally insane i mean we have literally been up since three so that's four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one two three four five six seven eight nine we have been up for, oh my goodness, my maths right now, it's just not mathsing. 16 hours? Is that right? 16 hours? Anyway, it's literally been an insane amount of time to have been awake in one day. So I'm so excited to go to bed. Dinner was absolutely incredible. Like this hotel has an amazing buffet. They had so many gorgeous, like really fresh bits out. Um, there was like a ham, Iberico ham carving station. There was like a fish station, there was a Mexican station. Oh, it was just absolutely incredible. Topped off the night with some really gorgeous tiramisu. So I am one happy bunny right now. I need to take my makeup off. I need to get my PJs on and we are going to get into bed. But I just want to say how proud I am that we made it this far into the night. So I'm going to head to bed now and I will catch you guys in the morning ready for day two here in Grand Canary. Good morning everyone and welcome to day two here in Grand Canary. I feel like our body clocks have very much shifted after yesterday's early rise because we are up bright and early again. It's currently about half six. We've been up for a good half an hour and we thought we'll make the most of the early morning and head to the gym. They've got a little gym here at the Rui Oasis. Um, so we thought that we would make the most of the gym and head down for a quick little session. I just brought one gym set with me, um, just an all black one because it's super simple. I've got this little like Puma top, um, a little sports bra on underneath and then I've got these like three quarter length leggings which are just the comfiest things ever. These are from ASOS. I think they're the 405 leggings and I love them so much. I think, are these the ones with pockets? No, these aren't the ones with pockets, but I do have a pair that has pockets as well, which is super, super handy. Um, and then obviously the only trainers I bought are my Beja, so I'm just gonna head to the gym in those, but I'm not gonna do anything too ham. I'm just gonna do probably a quick cycle, maybe a bit of a CrossFit, um, a few of the machines um, and just have a bit of like a half an hour to an hour morning stretch wake up and workout so let's get going <laughs> So I am back from the gym now. My goodness me, that was exactly what I needed this morning just to move my body, get a little bit of a workout. And I literally just did 40 minutes, but it was so, so worth it. And then I've just had the most incredible shower in the most incredible bathroom in the world. Honestly, I do not ever want to leave this bathroom. It's just so, so magical. And we're about to head down to breakfast. So I thought I'd give you a quick outfit of the day. Today, I've got the gorgeous little forever new dress on. I love this, this mini dress. I think it's the warmest day today. So I thought mini is perfect for today. And I've got my matching Chloe accessories, the little Chloe slides with my Chloe bag, which of course you can use my Farfetch discount code on. Um, yeah, really love the outfit. I think it's really, really cute. I'm also loving the white because because it's making me look a lot more tanned. I always feel like whenever you go away, if you haven't been away for a while and you've just put fake tan on, wear a white dress, it will make you feel so much more bronzed and beautiful. So I am very much looking forward to breakfast. We've got a buffet breakfast at the hotel, which is gonna be incredible. So we are just finished up with breakfast now. We ended up doing a few photos around the grounds as well because it is just absolutely beautiful. And I just thought I would show you the hotel lobby. I'll do like a full tour around the grounds because oh my word, the grounds are stunning. Like they're just immaculately kept, like absolutely beautiful. They are such a garden at goals, but this is the lobby. Here it's a little bit busy, so I won't vlog too much, but look at how gorgeous this is. I feel like you always know when it's a fancy place, when we've got like amazing chandeliers. Look at that, it's just absolutely incredible. And then there's so much like seating area. We've got like a little bar section over here. We've got the 
Onyx Bar, which is gorgeous. And then when you head outside, there's more seating as well. So we've just been sat having a coffee outside after breakfast, letting our food digest before we head out on a walk. I think we're gonna go down the main strip, have a little bit of a wonder, have a bit of a shop. We'll probably stop for some lunch at some point and just soak up the sunshine because the weather today is Hola. <laughs> Say hello. hello, my little friend. Hello. God is massive. just come up to the Blue Marlin Ibiza Sky Bar and can we just take a minute to appreciate this view. It's absolutely insane, we've got like our own little like booth, which is just the cutest thing. And we are looking out at the most incredible view. This is how you do lunch. Look at this. Hello gorgeous. Look at that view. <laughs> Oh, would you look at that sunshine? I'm so happy right now. We've just got back from lunch and it was the most incredible lunch the most incredible lazy chilled out afternoon at the rooftop bar we literally have spent the majority of the afternoon there it was so chilled out it makes total sense as to why it was called i'd be the what was it blue marine i be the, i can't remember the name of the bar already but oh my word it was such i'd be the vibes very like bougie but like very stripped back a little bit like natural the natural fibers the kind of like whites with the beiges with the tones oh it was absolutely gorgeous up there they had a couple of infinity pools we could just dabble our feet in if i'd known that they had the pools there, i would have literally brought like a swimming costume um but i was just literally wearing my little forever new dress and also this chloe bag don't know why i've got this on my arm why i've not put it down but this chloe bag was the best purchase i think i've ever ever made you would have seen that i picked this up in london a couple of weeks ago um when i went shopping with charlotte and it is such a gorgeous handbag I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for a really, really lovely everyday holiday bag. So obviously you can wear it with the kind of like top handle. You can also just wear it over your shoulder. It can't go cross body is the only thing, but it actually doesn't bother me that it can't because it sits really nicely on my shoulder and it carries so much. Like I literally have in it my vlogging camera, my phone, my wallet, some lipstick. I usually carry around like some plasters, some painkillers and things like that with me. It fits so much in it. And it's not too heavy either, which is really nice. And it's such a gorgeous handbag. I have so many compliments on it already so would definitely recommend picking it up if you're looking for a new summer holiday bag but um lunch oh my word absolutely exquisite we got the sushi and it was literally insane like it came out in this massive platter everyone was looking over a couple of people came over and started taking photos of it because it just looked so amazing and the sangria there it was literally like tropical sangria like really lovely and like bubbly and fruity and like slushy -y. oh absolutely amazing so we spent a good couple of hours just chilling out on the rooftop bar and loving life soaking up the rays i feel like you can really see it in my cheeks i've gone very very flushed but we are back at the room now and we're about to get changed into our swimming costumes and go and lay by the pool for a couple of hours because we've got a little bit of time before dinner tonight we've got a reservation at a fish restaurant that we walked past it looks absolutely amazing so we thought we'd make a quick reservation there i mean fish for lunch fish for dinner but you know what when in rome <laughs> When on the Canary Islands, we eat fish. I absolutely love all of my seafood as well. You know what I'm like when I'm on holiday. 
all of the sangria, all of the paella, and all of the seafood is my jam. So I'm gonna head down, come and relax by the pool for a couple of hours, let the sangria soak in, because I'm definitely feeling it, and get myself ready for dinner later. I have found one thing that I forgot to pack, and that is a beach cover-up. So I've just chucked my um, little dress back on over the top of my swimming costume, but I thought I would give you a quick tour around the hotel, because I promised I would do that this morning. Um, so behind me is the breakfast bar and the restaurant that we were at last night. We were literally sitting right here this morning and oh, it was just basking in the sunlight. It was so, so gorgeous. Um, so we've got breakfast behind me and then let me flip you around because this is honestly just one of the biggest hotels I think I've ever, ever stayed in. Um, so if we walk down here, we've got the gym over here, which is where we were this morning. There's like a little section here called the Palm. I'm not entirely sure. We didn't really walk down here in the evening, so I don't know if they've got like entertainment here. Oh yeah, there's a stage. I think they have entertainment there at the evenings, like a little arena type thing. Um, but yeah, in here is La Jam, um, which we were in this morning. It's quite a small gym. The machines are like, okay, it's a little bit old, but honestly, the grounds are just absolutely huge. If we walk around here, we've got like another block of apartments and like um, rooms around here. Oh, there's also a spa in the gym behind me as well, which we checked out. It looks lovely, but I don't think we'll probably look to do any treatments or anything whilst we're here. It's literally four days, um, obviously including travel days. Um, but yeah, I don't think we're gonna book anything, but this is like my favorite, favorite part of the hotel. This gorgeous garden here, it literally stretches so, so far. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see over there. It's actually this really cute little like waterfall feature. Let's walk over. I'm gonna walk over and show you. I mean, look at this. We've got a really cute little water fountain. There's like a waterfall over there, a fountain here. The water is so blue. I think they must have like a tarp down or something. So I don't know how they get it this blue. It's even like a little bridge that you can cross. You can actually sit in the middle here, have a picnic, have a drink. It's so, so cute. And honestly, look at just the palm trees. Like they are so mature. They're absolutely amazing. We've got some banana leaf. Oh, I absolutely love it. And the grounds are just so immaculate. Like we've literally seen gardeners of all hours of the day who have been here because this requires a lot of maintenance. But I'll admit, I feel like it's worth it because it just looks absolutely incredible. It's so, so gorgeous. They've got like the flowers that they're growing, obviously all the palm trees, all the really like exotic plants. I have no idea what this tree is. Oh my goodness, I think this might be, oh, what's the tree that it's called? Oh, if anyone knows what this tree is called, leave it down below because I definitely recognize this. I feel like this is gonna smell amazing. I can't really smell it because it's in fruit, but this is such an insane tree. Like, look at how orange these berries are. It's absolutely incredible. And look how, like, twisted it is. I mean, the branches are just absolutely beautiful. And then, and then of course, all of the trees are surrounded by the gorgeous flowers. It's like bougainvillea. It's just absolutely incredible. I literally haven't even covered like half of the grounds. I can't even begin to explain to you how big the grounds are. Like if you look behind me, it just stretches so far. And all of these trees, as I said, are so mature. They are so well manicured. And it's one of the most beautiful gardens I think I have ever, ever seen at a hotel like this. It's just so incredible, so lovely to just go for like a morning walk. As I said, we were taking photos around there earlier. It's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I'm gonna head by the pool now. I'll give you a quick little view of the pool, but I don't want to show too much because obviously there's lots of people here sunning themselves, enjoying their lovely holiday, and I'm sure they don't want to be on camera, but it's a really, really beautiful pool, very tranquil. I love it when they don't have music, so you can just stick your headphones in, listen to a podcast, read a book. The noise of the water lapping is just so, so, and someone picked some chairs away behind me, so it's a little bit noisy, but um, yeah, I'm gonna sit out in the sunshine, soak up the last rays before the sun sets this evening, and then I think we'll start getting ready for dinner. Well, looking slightly different now, but I've just had a super quick little freshen up, a quick shower, and I've done my makeup, slicked my hair back, and we are ready for our evening meal. I think I mentioned it earlier, but we booked a gorgeous little seafood restaurant right on the beachfront. It's absolutely stunning. I'm so excited. I'm thinking paella tonight. Do you want paella or clams? I want all the clams and <laughs> paella. <laughs> Look at him right on. Give me all the clams and paella. <laughs> I might have had a little bit too much sangria. I think you have. Uh, right, outfit of the night. You're looking gorgeous as well, by the way. Love that shirt on you. So, outfit of the night. I've got the gorgeous little dress on. This is just a cute little new look, Mama, but it's so easy to bring with you because it's just a little one piece. I love it. And I do feel like when it comes I to evening... <laughs> 
when it comes to even outfits it's so easy just to style it up ever so slightly differently with like a necklace or you know your accessories and things like that so of course I've done myself up in my favorite Pandora pieces so I've gone for the Pandora pearl necklace because I feel like it always works so well especially with the slick back hair I really really love it um, and then I've just got the little pearl bracelet on with another chain bracelet I think they pair so well together I actually decided to keep it quite minimal with regards to my earrings and um, so I've just got these little diamonds on you okay there I'm excited for <laughs> Let me step back and show with the full outfit, excuse me. Thank you. Um, and then shoes, I've gone for my little June black slides and of course the Chloe bag, most versatile handbag in the world. So, so glad that I picked it up. So that is tonight's outfit of the day. I've got a lovely sangria filled boyfriend to come with me. <laughs> so we can stock up on more sangria, we can enjoy our dinner tonight. So let's get going. Welcome to day three of the Gran Canaria vlogs. Oh my goodness me, I cannot believe we are already on day three. I am looking rather fresh this morning because we were up bright and early again. We headed straight to the gym. I have to say, I have become that person on holiday that likes to go to the gym in the morning because I feel like especially last night we had the most incredible meal, like so, so amazing. We had the biggest paella I think I've ever seen in my entire life and it was literally just for the two of us. Um, and it's just nice like to get moving the next morning um, and just kind of like get your body moving. I felt really, really stodgy when I first woke up this morning, but I'm feeling so much better now and ready for breakfast. Um, so yeah, so I'm back. Quickly washed my hair in the most incredible shower and I think I'm just gonna let it air dry today because I don't really wanna use too much heat on it if I'm washing it more often whilst we're here. Um, but I've got on my gorgeous little Hunza G swimming costume, which I just absolutely love. I wore this one when we were in Shooting Glen and it's definitely one of my favorites because it's just so comfortable. It's very nice and like covered, you know, like it doesn't come too high up your hips, but obviously you can pull it up higher if you want. It's a completely like one fits all swimming costume, which I've never had before until I tried 100G and I really didn't like the sound of it, but actually ever since trying these, I am a convert and I know so many people from so many different sizes, heights, shapes, all of that jazz that have these swimming costumes and swear by them as well. So it's this really gorgeous one. It's a bit different from their classic style. It's got this kind of like square neckline and spaghetti strap. So I've got a lot of chest on show, but I know I mentioned yesterday, I don't actually have a beach cover up. So plan of action is this. I'm just gonna wear Alex's shirt over the top. I mean, it's kind of almost a dress on me. I might be able to get away with it. Com yeah, I think I can. I can just get away with wearing this over the top of my swimming costume just to like walk down to the pool. Um, we've got a morning by the pool planned this morning. I think we both just want a little bit of a rest, a bit of a relaxation um, and just to, like soak up the rays. So we've got a morning by the pool planned, but this is perfect just to like head down to breakfast with, have some fruit and yogurt um, and get my fill before we head to the pool. It's the best thing about having a boyfriend that is six foot three <laughs> i can wear his shirts and they are literally dresses on me it's a really cute little actually like brown and white stripy shirt this is from massimo duty and i really like it on him and now coincidentally i really like it on me as well so i'm going to wear that and then i've also just got my um sun hat that i'll of course take with me and i'm going to take the loewe basket bag down to the pool with me beach bag essentials or pool bag essentials i am currently reading manifest again this is roxy nafusi's seven steps to living your best life i have read this a couple of times through audible i always listen to um my books especially when it comes to health self-help books i find they're great to listen to because especially if it's the author reading it like roxy reads this and i really like being able to read it how the author kind of meant for it to be read if that makes sense um so yeah but I got the book this time and I wanted to go through it because I thought it might be nice just to like make some notes. I mean, I really quite like the fact that there's like a bookmark so you can save some pages and just almost give myself like a little refresher. I didn't want to read anything too heavy whilst we we're here. So it's just an easy one to dip in and out of. I mean, you can literally jump steps, you know, you can go to each specific bit that you're like struggling with. I definitely think at the moment, um, 
I've been a little bit slow with my goals this year and I've spoken about this a lot but I think it might be quite nice just to like realign reset and make sure that I know exactly what I'm like working towards and making sure that I know exactly what my goals are so that I can keep on top of them so I've got that with me um obviously my wallet um I then also have a NARS lip balm in orgasm you all guys always ask me about what my um lip combo is and it's pretty much most of the time this it's such a gorgeous like really twisting it the wrong way really really natural if it's gonna focus on it my camera's not exactly liking this but it's a really natural um like balmy it just has like a little subtle pink to it um and then my airpods that's pretty much all i'm going to be taking down with me just some simple beach essentials but that's why the loewe basket is like the perfect beach bag because it just carries everything that you need this is in the smallest size um i really do want to get a medium in this but i don't know if i'll actually get the wear out of it because i've worn this one so so much and obviously i'm wearing my chloe bag as kind of like my everyday um so yeah I mean, I think this is the epitome of keeping it super stripped back and super simple. I've literally just put on my Pixie Skin Tint as well as all of my SPF, obviously. But in terms of makeup, I've literally just got Pixie Skin Tint on and I've just done my brows. That's all I've done. And Pandora Jewelry, I've just got these little gold huggies in. I am obsessed with these. I've worn them so, so much since I picked them up a couple of weeks ago. They're just gorgeous, like really simple. They're great for days like today when obviously I don't want to have any other jewelry on. But I do feel like just wearing earrings, I feel so much more like elevated and a little bit more I don't know like ready to face the day and then I've got my Ray-Ban sunglasses on I have to admit as much as I love my Valentino sunglasses I'm reaching for these more because I do find my Valentinos give me a headache I don't know what it is they're like a little bit tight and I think it's because they're a plastic frame and I do think a metal frame is so much better just in terms of comfort so if you're wearing sunglasses like all day every day I definitely recommend investing in a um metal framed sunglasses so i'm going to be wearing those here they're also prescription so it means i don't have to wear my contacts so um yeah ready to go down for breakfast i'm going to do the shirt up so i look somewhat presentable and like somewhat i am wearing some clothes and then we can go and lay by the pool and just have a really lovely chill morning hours later now please excuse the sound of the shower in the background alex is just quickly getting showered and ready because he jumped in the pool earlier um whereas i just kept to the sunbathing so that i didn't have to wash the chlorine off but i have just got dressed into my favorite outfit of the holiday i am absolutely in love with this my little fishy dress from Elaymas at Farfetch. All of these pieces actually you can shop at Farfetch. 10% off with my discount code. I need to double check when it actually runs out because you probably don't have too much longer left to use it. But honestly, it's just the most flattering, prettiest little linen blend dress. I'm so, so in love with it. And I love the little fishies on it, the little puff sleeves. It's so, so cute. So I literally just let my hair dry naturally. So it's not looking its best, but I'm just gonna be wearing a hat all day. So I've just kind of like tucked it behind my ears and I'm wearing my matching Chloe accessories. The Chloe slides and the Chloe bag and I just think they look so so cute and I've just added a couple of bits of jewelry just to kind of like dress it up a little bit I don't really want to wear anything too heavy though because obviously it's quite warm we're heading out to go and grab some lunch now I thought I would just give you a quick little outfit of the day but oh my goodness I'm so in love with this and I'm feeling very hungry after a couple of hours relaxing by the pool I've been reading Manifest again and I'm absolutely loving it I feel like it's just such a good like refresher you can literally flick through the chapters and like jump to wherever you want just as a bit of refresher pressure to help me on my manifestation journey it's been so lovely just to chill in the sunshine and relax by the pool but now i am very very excited to go and grab some lunch so we have just come down to the beachfront now and there's an adorable little market down here they've got loads of like arts and crafts type thing you know like handmade artisan type unique pieces the kind of things that you wish you had a bigger case for so that you could take home um but it's absolutely adorable look at this
stuff to have. I've got you there, I've got the mirror here. We could have done a full makeup tutorial, but I've just finished getting myself ready. It's a little bit echoey in here, but I've been using the bathroom mirrors because it's definitely the best lighting in here. Of course, I've got my robe on. I always bring this with me whenever I'm away on holiday. I feel like it just makes such a difference to be able to walk around in like a nice robe. We do have the um, the hotel robes. But I haven't actually got mine out because I always find that they're a bit bulky, a bit too like big for me. And this is literally the silkiest thing, the lightest thing just to chuck in your bag. It was super, super simple, but I've just done a really easy makeup, just straightened my hair quickly. I washed it this morning so it's still feeling okay i'm not gonna lie i'm starting to notice my hair is starting to feel a little bit dry i don't have my normal products with me normally i've got like my hair oils and my like heat protectant spray i think it's the heat protectant spray that is making the biggest impact but i obviously really had to budget with regards to what i could take with me in my suitcase and i decided that that one wasn't worth it it didn't make the cut maybe next time i will take that with me just a mini heat protectant spray because it really is starting to feel a little bit dry i feel like you can't really notice it but i'm definitely starting to feel it so i think when i get home i'm just going to give it a really good oil moisturize and just get my hair back to a point that it was before we came away but loving the makeup i've done tonight kept it really really simple a couple of things i feel like are absolutely game changers i'm so glad that i brought with me are my bobby brown long wear cream shadow sticks oh my goodness me these are fab if you're going away somewhere maybe you're going overnight and you don't want to bring a huge makeup bag you're going to be like just doing a little bit of a top up or again like me you're going away and you just want to keep it super stripped back and simple these are the things i'm using and can we just talk about my eye makeup like i am loving it at the moment and i have not been doing my usual liner technique with regards to doing like the eyebrow brush and kind of using the cotton pad what I did last night, actually, I don't know if you noticed, but I had quite a big flick last night. Literally just used this, and I went in with my pinky, which actually... <laughs> Can we talk about my pinky? My nails are so outgrown at the moment and this one has snapped, which is really, really sad. But especially works when you've got a nice long pinky. Literally just grabbed my pinky and pulled it up underneath the liner. And oh my goodness, it created such a sharp line. Like it was pretty much the same effect that I get when I use a cotton bud. And obviously a lot more sustainable because you literally just wash your hand afterwards. Um, so yeah, and then today I've gone for a little bit more of just kind of like a smudged out eye, which I'm really, really loving. So these are the two that I have been using. So we've got golden pink which is just kind of like the shimmer that i've done on my eyes and then golden bronze is the kind of like smudged out liner look that i've been doing and i'm absolutely loving it so yeah just been getting myself ready for dinner i feel like i really need to powder quite a lot because i'm definitely catching the sun even though i'm wearing hats i'm wearing spf 50 and i'm barely sitting out in the sun i'm still feeling a little bit flushed on my cheeks i feel like i need a lot of powder right now but um, yeah i'm gonna get myself ready for dinner we've booked dinner tonight and a really nice just like little restaurant again just something really really simple we're not going like too ham for all of our meals out we're not going anywhere like super fancy our paella last night was absolutely amazing actually lunch today was really lovely we both ended up getting a caesar salad um at oh where was the place that we went to today i think it was called um it was something to do with penguins it was like pinguina or something like that it was really really lovely um but yeah we went down and oh the artisan fair was so so lovely it was called artisania and it was basically just all of these like craft stores and people were literally making things there and there there was a lady with like a weaver she was like making scarves as we watched there was a guy that had like a glass blower he was literally doing the sculptures there we were watching it was absolutely amazing like really really fascinating to watch and the little glass ornaments if we didn't just have hand luggage and if we didn't just have like have to get on a plane and go home i would 100 percent pick up some of those but i don't think we're going to be able to get them home without smashing them but the roses oh my goodness they were just so intricate sorry there's a sense of light in here and um there we go <laughs> when it turns off it goes really really blue um but yeah the like roses were so intricate and tiny and delicate like it literally looked like if you touched it it would snap in your hands so yeah the fair was really lovely lunch was really lovely and then we just spent the afternoon basically just sitting out drinking more sangria watching the world go by so it was really really nice we did a really lovely long walk along the beach and then of course came home and shower there's nothing better than that pre-dinner shower when you're on a holiday so um yeah just need to get my dress on and then we're ready to go for tonight right so i am dressed and ready to go out of the night i'm obsessed with this it's gorgeous h&m pleated dress i know i showed you this in my recent h&m haul which you guys went nuts for i had so many stunning springs 
summer dresses in that haul and this is the one that I just knew was the perfect one to take away with me. I was actually planning on wearing this as more of a day dress but it has been warmer than I was expecting so I thought you know what it might be perfect for the evening because it does get a little bit chilly so it's really nice to like have your arms covered, have something a little bit longer um, and I didn't want to wear all black every single night. I kind of realised that I had such a colour theme with regards to my outfit so it's just such a lovely one. I love the fact that the shoulders and the arms are a little bit more sheer of course we've got the Chloe basket bag and I've also got my June slides and as I wasn't planning on this being a nighttime outfit I thought the best way to kind of like elevate it and make it more of an evening look is through my jewelry so I've got some gorgeous pieces on I've really like styled it up with regards to my rings we've gone all silver because I feel like silver and white just looks so beautiful together especially for like a summer holiday so I've got my gorgeous little brilliance necklace on which I absolutely adore you can see on my chest actually I've caught the sun a little bit but um I am still wearing my factor 50 don't worry guys but yeah the brilliance necklace I've got these really really gorgeous huggy earrings which just have a little kind of like shimmer to them which I really really love and then ring wise I've got my knots ring here and this really gorgeous kind of like looks like you've got a stack on but you've not and then bracelet wise I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you those there we go I've got the brilliance bracelet and a really gorgeous bangle on I love these two paired together I feel like they just work so beautifully and with the rings I'm obsessed and then on this hand I've got another really gorgeous ring that looks like you've got a bit of a stack on um so I've got that one there my halo ring and my pearl bracelet because that's just my favorite especially when it comes to holiday jewelry so I'm dressed and ready very excited for dinner tonight we're gonna to be back on the sangria very excited for food so let's get going i can't believe it's our last night here in gran canaria already this has been the most flying visit but oh it has just been incredible we have really really needed this holiday <laughs> day four of our Gran Canaria holiday. It is our last day here and my goodness me has this trip just gone like that. It has literally been the quickest sunshine holiday I think we've ever had but my goodness me did we need it. I feel like we really really needed this break. I feel like the days have all kind of like blurred into one. It's very samey on these kinds of holidays. You decide to lie by the pool, go and walk and find some lunch, have a walk along the promenade, a walk along the beach grab some dinner oh my goodness dinner last night was absolutely incredible it was at el gusto i believe it was called um and it's like the number one steakhouse in the entire island it's also like the number one place for like mexican and spanish food so i ended up going for el croquetas for starter and then i got um enchiladas for may which were absolutely amazing i literally could not finish them though alex had to have an entire enchilada of mine and i don't know how he ate it because he had an entire tea bone steak like literally it was the size of his face i was looking at that going you're never gonna finish that you're never gonna finish that i don't know how he did but somehow the boy managed to put it away so he's gone to the gym this morning because he keeps being like i need to i need to burn off this uh <laughs> this entire cow that's sitting in my dummy right now um so i didn't go to the gym this morning because i just wanted to like pack up and get all of the cases sorted um because we need to check out at midday we don't leave until like later this evening but we need to get our cases out of the room and stuff um so i've just been sorting that out this morning and then we're gonna head down for breakfast in a minute it's only about nine o'clock but my goodness me i can already feel it's gonna be a hot one today i mean look at that blue sky oh my goodness at me that's the kind of blue sky that you do not ever see in the uk no matter how hot and sunny it is you never get a crisp blue sky like that it's always like a holiday sky so yeah i think it's gonna be a hot one today so i think we might do a bit of a morning by the pool and then stretch our legs in the afternoon because obviously we're gonna be getting a flight later on tonight so we're gonna want to do a little bit of walking a little bit of movement before we're sitting on a plane for a few hours but let me show you today's outfit of the day sorry i've just got alex's case on the bed behind me um and my case is all packed and ready to go there of course repping antler 
no other case brand will I ever, ever use. I'll link my cases down below actually because I always get lots of questions about them and they're just the best ones, especially the fact that I've managed to fit a four day trip wardrobe in this has been quite a feat and I haven't found myself once being like, oh, I really wish I brought this, I really wish I brought that. The only thing that I feel like I forgot was a beach cover up and that was mainly not to do with space, it was just because when you're going from like winter, because it, let's be honest, it's not really springtime in the UK right now, like it's still zero degrees, freezing cold, it's sunny, we're all getting excited for spring, but it's pretty much going from a winter temperature to summer. There's so many things you don't think about. Like we had to bring so much stuff out of storage. Um, so yeah, I feel like I've done really well. I've got like a different outfit every day. I felt like I have been able to wear my dresses and utilize them. I've had my swimming cozies. I've just had absolutely everything that I needed. So today I'm wearing the gorgeous new Forever New one. I absolutely love this. I was debating whether to add a necklace to it, but actually I quite like the kind of like beachy Ibiza vibes that it is given. I've just chucked my hair into a very low bunk. So I'm gonna chuck my hat on because I I could not be on a summer holiday without wearing a hat. Like literally have to protect my face every second of every day. And I've just had a few basic Pandora pieces. I've got a couple of chain bracelets. I've got my favorite little wishbone bangle. Um, and of course the gold hoop earrings because they're just my absolute favorite. I have got my Le Buffet basket bag full of all my beach gear again. Loving reading manifest. I've even got Alex to read a few pages as well. And then of course my little sun hat. And this is me, good to go, ready for this morning. So I'm gonna head down for breakfast, fill my boots on fruit, yogurt, and maybe a couple of croissants, and then we can just enjoy our last day here in Gran Canaria. My goodness me, this holiday has gone so, so quickly, but it really has been such an amazing escape. excited when I see a Pandora when I'm away on holiday because I love seeing how different the charms are. I feel like they're slightly different in every country, which I really, really love. They've got some really beautiful ones. They've got like the Disney collection. This one I've definitely not seen in the UK. The Celebrada Cada Momento. A moment celebration. Oh no, I do recognize this little pearl one. I think I have that in my collection. And then we've got my favorite Pandora me pieces. But I just, I love it. It sounds so silly, but obviously being an ambassador, I just love seeing them in a different country and seeing how like, different they are and what beads and charms and bits they have. It's so much fun. <laughs> okay, there's something that Alex and I cannot work out what it is. And if anyone maybe knows, if you know Spanish culture, Canary Islands culture, but there's this little statue right here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but zoom in. This statue here, and loads of people keep coming up to it and putting their hands like on their hands there and what looks like they're praying to the statue and a lot of surfers seem to be doing it and we can't work out why, what it means, whether it's a religious thing or just kind of like a, a um, superstitious thing. They would keep coming up to the statue and like putting their hands on the statue's hands and like praying to it. They keep putting their, um, you know, like their surf gear over the top of it. I'm not entirely sure what it is. So if anyone knows, I would love to hear it because it's an absolute phenomenon. I'm sitting here watching so many people come up thinking, what is going on? just had the most wonderful last afternoon here in Gran Canaria. We had the most indulgent Caesar salad, like literally. I've never seen so much dressing on a Caesar salad in my life. Had a lovely Caesar salad, had a lovely like coffee float. I don't really know what they call it, but it's like coffee and cream, just to give myself a little bit of energy, because it's gonna be a late one tonight. But we are 
heading back to the hotel now to fully check out, grab our bags and head home. I honestly cannot believe how quickly this holiday has gone. Four days have literally just vanished before our eyes but as i said we just really needed this trip it's so lovely to get some sun get some warmth this is your sign if you're thinking about booking like a really early spring summer getaway do it definitely do it because it's so worth it just to have that injection of sun injection of warmth it's been so lovely getting the summer dresses out and it's making me really excited for when spring summer hits properly in the uk so yeah, I think I'm going to leave the vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed coming on our little getaway with us. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I've been wearing, what I've been eating, what I've been doing. If you found me through this vlog, I would love it if you hit subscribe. You can check out all my other travel vlogs and everything like that. I'll leave them linked down below because you guys know we love a travel vlog. They're just my favourite to film, my favourite to go back and watch because I just find them so much fun. And hopefully we're going to have lots more coming this year. We've already got a few trips planned. So I'm going to leave the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up and I will see you when we're back in the UK. Wow, 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 wow.